Hi there. Today I want to talk a little bit about the distance that you should place your speakers regarding the front wall. There are some key principles that you should know. Um, basically, the size of your speaker, the number of drivers and the distance to the front wall will de determine uh, the bass response of the room. So, usually um, a speaker has either two drivers or, two, or three drivers. So, my speakers are the NES10 uh, M Pro and we have the tweeter and above we have the woofer. The tweeter is quite uh, directional. So, above 500 Hertz, the sound is completely frontal. While the woofer is mainly omnidirectional at low frequencies. That means that part of the sound goes back to the front wall and is reflected. That's why it is important to place um, acoustical treatment on the front wall to absorb some of the sound that comes out of your speaker. But mainly, mainly it's mid-low and low frequencies. So, it is important that your acoustic treatment is quite thick. So, usually recommended is 10 centimeters or more, or more than 3 inches. So, I'm going to show um, an Excel spreadsheet with some charts so you can understand the maths behind this um, concept. Uh, sorry for the image, but I'm actually recording the screen with my phone. Uh, this is an Excel spreadsheet that I found on the internet a couple of years ago. And it's quite um, interesting to use for this kind of uh, wall bounce uh, frequencies from the front wall. So the first things I, wa I want to show you is the difference when you move away the speakers from the front wall. So this um, curve over here is the frequency response and it's 10 centimeters from the wall. So for instance now if I change this to 50 centimeters from the wall the frequency frequency response gets reduced a lot. So concluding if we have the speakers very close to the wall there's more bass sound if we move it apart there's less bass sound. So one of, one of the ways that we can um, um, uh, reduce the bass frequency uh, is to place acoustic treatment. So I'm going back now to, let's say, uh, 20 centimeters from off the wall here, and so the frequency response went uh, uh, went up. And now I'm going to place absorption on the on the front wall. So let's say that I uh, that I choose a a thin panel uh, of um, an acoustical foam or acoustical panel, so the panel will have very low, um, um, very low absorption at uh, 125 hertz and uh, 200 and 250, and then probably above 500 he has more absorption, and then at 1k has like uh, 0 0.9. Oh, it's not working. Sorry about that. 0 0.9, 0 0.9, and maybe 0 0.9, 9, well, it doesn't matter. So, as you can see, the frequency response of the, of the, um, of the Excel spreadsheet has changed and the curve went, became more flat. So, but why it is important for you to choose a thick panel is basically for you to control the wall absorption at 125 hertz and 250. So instead, if we use um, 0.5 instead of 0.1, so we're actually absorbing 15% instead of 10%, as you can see, it has flattened the curve a lot. And if you use like 70% at 250 hertz, the, the curve gets further reduced. Okay, and now we change here to 0.8 for instance or 0.9 and now we have a much flatter curve so it is quite important 
when we are treating your studio or home studio to either use absorption on the front wall that is that is thick or you, you use a, a, flush, a flush mount option where the speakers are mounted are, are mounted in the walls so you can reduce this um, wall bounce uh, um, phenomenon uh, thanks much thank you so much for watching please please subscribe the channel and i will try to upload more information soon either about acoustics or our audio. Thank you.